Hey guys, so in tonight's video, we're going to take a quick look at adding custom textures to our 3D prints um, using Bamboo Studio. And what you're going to want to do first is open your browser and look for black and white pattern, preferably license free, but it doesn't really matter what type you go for. Um, download your image, bring it into an SVG converter which there are multiples online, but this one works quite well, pixsvg.com. You may need to play around with this here because sometimes it misses gaps like this here. But play around and choose the setting that gives you the closest result to what you want. Download your SVG and then go into your Bamboo Studio. So in this case here, I have just a test block I've created. And what I want to do is select this, left click, right click and then I want to go and add a modifier and then I want to click on SVG. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select the file that I want to use. In this case it's going to be Stonewall that I've created already. I can modify this and move it up and down, move it to wherever I want it to be, align it. Once I'm happy with the positioning I can decide whether I want it to be in or out. In this case I want it to be recessed by half a mil or so maybe 0.6 of a mil right and i'm going to click on use surface and it'll attach it to my print like so and i want to select cut down here and it'll cut into my print by 0.6 of a millimeter and when you're happy and you've all that done just click return on this and if you look here on your print you'll see there's now a gray modifier that is after leaving the shape or outline of your stone wall. So if I click slice plate, you'll see my stone textured finish on my print. Probably easiest to see it like that. Um, I'll put up a finished uh, print in a second just to show you what it looks like when it's done. But essentially that's it. It's as simple as that. So if we go back and prepare again. Control Z, Control Z, go back and try it with something different so in this case i have an svg of crocodile skin so if i select my crocodile skin i can scale it pardon the pun and um, i can move it around as well just select here and drag it up and over whatever way i want to be like so right click on it Sorry, select it again, right click and edit SVG and we can again choose this here. We want it to be, this time we want, because it's all our gear skin or crocodile skin, we want the texture to be sticking out from the surface. So we're going to go with 0.4 millimeter. And instead of going with cut, we're going to go with join and we're going to click use surface again. Let me just give it a second, let it do its thing. And there you have alligator texture on your print and again i'll put up a picture or video of the finished result when you see it when it's done it's currently printing at the moment all right so here's my stone wall finish i've rubbed a little bit of black paint in between the joints just to make it stand a little bit better for the video but it works really really well and here's my alligator skin that's half done it's coming on well as well. You can see the difference between the alligator skin. I brought it out by 0.4 of a millimeter because the scales of the alligator should be sticking out. Whereas the SVG for this, I recessed it because it was a recessed groove between the stones. But I think it looks pretty decent. Anyway, give it a try and see how we get on. All right, cheers.